God bless you family, Christian family. This video is intended for Christian people and not for all the people that decide or choose to follow God, that would like to be part of heaven, part of paradise, the eternal kingdom of God. My name is Pastor Antonio. You can find me on YouTube as Pastor Antonio Alavale. Last night, my daughter asked me, Dad, when is the rapture going to take place? So I was thinking about it. And while we are not told exactly the date on the Bible, we are given clues as when is the rapture going to take place. And I want to tell you that in the future, there's going to be a war. Well, actually, the, that war is going on between Israel and Palestine, but it's going to get worse. And to such an extent <laughs> that everybody's going to be involved in that war. And when they finally uh, reach a peace treaty, they're going to divide Israel in two. And one half is going to be given to the Palestines, and the other half is going to be given to the Israelites. When that happens, my beloved brother and sister, the day that they sign the treaty, that's going to be the first day of the countdown. And the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come back 1,325 days after that. On that very same day, a great tribulation is going to start against the saints, against the people that not only believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, but also obey the commandments and have the courage to reject the mark of the beast, the number of the beast, and also his name. So the beast is going to be given authority over all mankind for 1,290 days. And we are told in the Bible, blessed are those that can wait another extra 45 days because that's the day when our Lord is going to return. The Lord returns after the tribulation according to Matthew 16, 27. Not a personal opinion, but according to the Bible, my beloved brothers and sisters. So do not be deceived by the enemy. Do not be deceived by people. Do not be deceived by yourself. The Lord Jesus Christ comes after the tribulation. What many people believe is that the rapture it's called the gathering of the first fruits. And that's only for people that are firstborn and they, have, they don't lie and they were dedicated to God on the eighth day. And He's going to choose 12 of each tribe for Israel, 144,000. That's, that's the gathering of the first fruit of the harvest. But the bulk of the harvest will be after many people are decapitated because they choose not to allow themselves to be marked by the number, the name, or the mark of the beast. The beast is a man that is going to have authority for 42 months over all mankind. Many people believe that is a, a prime minister, the new prime minister of France, whose last name has a double T. It doesn't really matter who it is because that person is protected by God himself. The same that Judas Iscariot was protected by God himself. So everything that is written has to be fulfilled. The heavens and the earth shall pass. We are told by God, the heavens and the earth shall pass by my words shall not. So my beloved brothers and sisters, I wanna encourage you to avoid getting the mark, the number or the name of the beast. Don't allow yourself to be marked by the future government of this planet. The punishment for not allowing yourself to be marked is going to be decapitation. You can read that in the Bible. You can read chapter 12 and 13, chapter 18 of the Bible. You can read the book of Daniel. The people that are dead right now are in the dust, but the people that are decapitated during the Great Tribulation are going to be instant, in, in an instant, instantaneously, in the presence of God. And they're going to be right there next to his altar. And we are told that the first reward that we are going to be given by God is going to be life for 1,000 years. We're going to be reigning with God as our kings and queens, as our priests and priestesses of the Most High God. So I do want to encourage you not to allow you yourself to be marked by that government of the beast. This is the place where I live, my beloved brothers and sisters. I'm on the on the roof of my house. I'm very proud to say that my wife and I built this house with our own hands. Of course, some family members and some people that we paid off 
were helping us out, but we are very fortunate. Unfortunately, all this is coming to an end because of the wickedness of the people of this land. And pretty soon, my beloved brothers and sisters, the war is going to intensify in the Middle East to the point that a third temple is going to be built by Israel, Israel, where right now the Golden Dome Mosque is standing. And this place is going to be uh, erected, the third temple of the King Solomon. Of King Solomon. When that happens, they're going to sacrifice a, red, a bunch of red heifers. And then the daily sacrifice that is our Lord, Jesus Christ, is going to be taken away. And the Antichrist is going to receive authority and power over all mankind for 42 months. Many shall be decapitated by them, by his government, and the people that somehow manage to hide themselves in the wilderness or on the ground or anywhere where they can hide themselves, avoiding to be marked by the number, by the uh, mark or the name of the beast. Those people shall be taken away by God himself, by the Lord Jesus Christ, when he comes 1,335 days after the the signature of the treaty, the peace treaty between Israel and Palestine, when Israel is going to be uh, forced to give up half of its territory, especially by the government of the U.S. When that happens, we are told by many prophets that a, a great earthquake in a, a, the scale, the Richter scale greater than 10, is going to uh, divide the U.S. All Baja in Mexico, Baja California Norte, and Baja California Sur is going to be lost. All the lowlands like Miami, around Miami, NYC, in the Empire State, all that is going to be lost. And the U.S. will have a different shape, and many people are going to be lost. But that's a different topic. God bless you. I, I encourage you to join the war for the salvation of the souls and of men and women. And uh, that war, my beloved brothers, if you have a ministry, share the Christian videos in your social platforms. Use it as a powerful tool to reach the souls and to pull your grain of salt to save the unsaved. Again, this video is intended for the Christian, not for the heathen, not for the atheist people, but for the Christians and for all the people that would like to be part of God's kingdom. God bless you. YouTube, Pastor Antonio Alabale, A-L-A-B-A-L-E. I'll see you in the next video, God willing.